Hello everyone, it's good to see you. So I'm going off script today because it just felt too formal and stiff. So I'm just going to talk to you and hope that I remember everything instead of forgetting anything. So today, this is the story we're reading. I hope you guys recognize him, Pete the Cat. This is the book we're reading, so if you have it, go and get it. We're also going to be doing some graphics practice today, so be sure you have something to write with and something to write on, okay? Now, if we're going to look at our schedule, I know it's pretty light for you to see the name tags, but we, you know, we start with the name tags when we're meeting together, but we can't do that. Um, and while we're talking about scheduling, I want to talk to you moms for a second about that. I know we've been at home now for a while, and um, things might be starting to feel, either you're getting in a groove and it's feeling good, or it's feeling absolutely crazy and you can't stand it. If it's feeling absolutely crazy and you can't stand it, it's time to figure out a schedule of some kind. It's really easy to do. And if you have kids that have been in child care, um, daycare, a daycare center, or at school, then it's really easy. You can ask them what their schedule was. Just, you know, how did they start their day, that kind of thing. And I just grabbed some little pieces of paper and I wrote on them different things. So let me see. So you can start out like I have a breakfast and you can tape them up. And I had a friend who did a short video on this. If I could show that to you, I would have because it's better than what I'm going to do. Um, but she just taped them on something. So if I put a breakfast right here, um, I have one for lunch, snack, clean up, quiet time. We'll put a quiet time. Well, we'll start with a circle time maybe. You can have your kids draw pictures. To do this, ask them what order they do stuff in school, what order you want to do things in. The friend who did the video, she did not put times on them, which makes it more flexible. I think if you have older kids, you might want to put some times on them to help them organize their brain and their day a little bit. With younger kids, though, time is a little more, a little less relevant. But if you have an order to your day, that really helps. Um, so if you have a free play time, recess, I drew a little slide on it, and you put recess on here, and just tape them in order of what you want to do. And my friend had said, too, that if the weather's really nice outside, like here today for me, it's really nice right now, you might want to move a recess time to the morning. So you can just take your tape, you know, pull it off and stick it somewhere else and change your schedule around. And if you have your kids help with it, it will help them stay on task, um, and help you kind of organize them too. I have a free play one, a snack time, clean up, the recess, quiet time, lunch. Put them in whatever order you want and try to stick to that. If you can, if you need to change it up, you know you can do that because it's pretty easy to do. You just move it around over here and you put something else there. You know, just find a place in your house that you can do that. If you have your kids help with it. It makes them more willing to want to do it with you and to follow it, too. I would say with your older kids that are in school, if you're checking in with them every, you know, once an hour, kind of see where they're doing with schoolwork, that kind of thing. But I know many of you guys have younger kids, and it's just harder because they need more time and attention to help them get tasks done. So hang in there. If you're knocking it out and feeling great about it, wonderful for you. If it's not working so well, I would try adding some routine to your day, okay? So, we have gone through, we're going to pretend like we did name tags. Oh, the mystery question, except now, remember, we are doing mystery, do I have that right set up? Nope, sorry. Mystery rhyme, okay? Mystery rhyme, that means the end of the word sounds like the other word, okay? So, we're going to do our word, it's going to be star. That's a star. So is star like cat? Or is star like car? Star, car, star, cat. Which ones do you think sound the most alike? Sound the most the same at the end? Is it star and cat? or star and car. If you're thinking star and car, you are exactly right. Star and car end the same way. They have different sounds at the beginning, but they both end the same way. Okay, so good job with that. We are ready for our welcome song. Make sure you're singing along with me. If uh, you have other people you want to add in that we're not saying, go ahead and add their names in, okay? 
So sing along with me. We're glad you came to school. We're glad you came to school. With all the other boys and girls, we're glad you came to school. Dallery will be there. Dallery will be there. With all the other boys and girls, Dallery will be there. Jaden will be there. Jaden will be there. With all the other boys and girls, Jaden will be there. Malaya will be there. Malaya will be there. With all the other boys and girls, Malaya will be there. Uh, Aria will be there. Aria will be there. With all the other boys and girls, Aria will be there. Olivia will be there. Olivia will be there. With all the other boys and girls, Olivia will be there. Enrique will be there. Enrique will be there. With all the other boys and girls, Enrique will be there. Ritani will be there. Ritani will be there. With all the other boys and girls, Ritani will be there. You know what? I'm just going to up a little bit so you can see your names better, okay? Because I want you to recognize them. Raylene will be there. Raylene will be there. With all the other boys and girls, Raylene will be there. Icker will be there. Icker will be there. With all the other boys and girls, Icker will be there. Amaya will be there. Amaya will be there. With all the other boys and girls, Amaya will be there. Amina will be there. Amina will be there. With all the other boys and girls, Amina will be there. Emmanuel will be there. Emmanuel will be there. With all the other boys and girls, Emmanuel will be there. Leilani will be there. Leilani will be there. With all the other boys and girls, Leilani will be there. Abel will be there. Abel will be there. With all the other boys and girls, Abel will be there. Bria will be there. Bria will be there. With all the other boys and girls, Bria will be there. King will be there. King will be there. With all the other boys and girls, King will be there. Samantha will be there. Samantha will be there. With all the other boys and girls, Samantha will be there. Good job and thank you for singing along with me. So we did our welcome song. That means we are right now in our circle time. We didn't do a table time. We usually do table time. It's kind of we do Play-Doh or different kinds of things like that. But we didn't do that today because we're not together. So hopefully you guys can do that at home some today. Uh, circle time. We started with our welcome song. Now we're ready for our book. It's Pete the Cat. Moms, the author reads this story on YouTube if you want to YouTube that. The author's name is, uh, the story is by Eric Litwin. The art is by James Dean. There are lots of these Pete the Cat books. I know we've read some of them before, so hopefully you know about it and are going to sing along. Oh, I did forget something already. Our message of the day and the weather I forgot. Oh my goodness, I can't believe that. Okay, so we're going to look at the weather first. The weather, I'm looking out my window right now, and it is super sunny and super warm outside. So I'm going to put one under sunny. You look out your window, though, and see what you think it is. I hope you're keeping track of your weather, because it might be different than when I'm recording when you're seeing this, okay? I'm recording on Friday, so it's lovely. Uh, on May 1st, everyone, can you believe it? Okay, so we have, I moved the chart because we're getting so tall, we can't see the top numbers, or the top dots. So we have the sunny, the cloudy, the rainy, the snowy, and I just said it was sunny here at my house today. So I'm going to put one right here with sunny. So that gives us, count with me, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sunny days. We're gonna count those cloudy days again, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So which one do you think has the most? Is it sunny? Is it cloudy? Is it rainy? Or is it snowy? If you're thinking it's cloudy, you're exactly right. Cloudy has the most. Look how tall that one is. I want you to look at it again. Which one do you think has the least? That means the smallest number, the fewest, the shortest stack, the shortest line of dots. So if I'm looking at this, that one, we come down here, there's this one, and then here, this one right here is the shortest. See how there's one more over here in snowy? So that means our rainy days are the fewest. We've only had three rainy days while we've met. 
because we've had a lot of rainy days lately, haven't we? But only three while we've been meeting. So three rainy days. Now, our message of the day. Let's see if I can find my marker. Okay. You ready for this? Remember, we always start the same way because we're helping your kids start to understand the concept of reading. Okay? We are going to sing, period. That goes at the end of the sentence, okay? So our sentence is, we are I'm sorry, my writing's hard. It's hard like this, but the board keeps moving. So it's not very legible. We are going to sing. Are you ready? We are going, let me get this to, to sing. Now I want you to look at this shape right here. That's called a W. If you turn it over this way, remember last week when we were drawing mountains? Look at that. It looks like an upside down mountain, doesn't it? Do you remember what it is again? What it, the message is? We are going to sing. Now I want you to look at another letter here too, because we're going to work on this one today. That letter right there, this one, it's called an S. Samantha, your name begins with the letter S. I think you're the only one. We're going to be working on making that letter S today for just a little bit, and you guys can keep practicing it, okay? So our message of the day today is, we are going to sing, okay? And you know how we're going to sing? We're going to sing with Pete the Cat, the Pete the Cat story. That's what we're going to do. It's a fun book. You guys probably know about the Pete the Cat, right? The Elephant and Piggy books are also great books. Mo Willems is another great author. Eric Litwin is a good author. So those are all books once the library opens up that we can go check out. So what do you see on the front cover? Do you see the blue cat? And you know his name is Pete. What is he holding? What is that? He's holding a guitar. He has on which color shoes today? He has on his red shoes, doesn't he? It looks like, what's this over here, do you think? You know what it says on it? It says Pete's lunch. I think that's his lunch bag. And if you look on his back, it looks like he's wearing a backpack, doesn't it? Where do you think it's, he's going? Although most of you will not go to school with a guitar. But you will go to school with a lunch bag and a backpack and your shoes on your feet so you can play at recess on the playground. Okay, peek the cat rocking in my school shoes. Let's get up just a little bit more to make sure I'm in the light and you can see well. Okay, oh look, this is a school bus. Some of you will get to ride a school bus. This is Cat City School Bus. And look, there's Pete, he's getting on the bus. And look at all of his cat friends waiting there. Here comes Pete, strolling down the street, rocking red shoes on his four furry feet. Pete is going to school, and he sings this song. I'm rocking in my school shoes. I'm rocking in my school shoes. I'm rocking in my school shoes. There he is with his lunch, and that's why he has his guitar, so he can rock. Pete is sitting in his desk when his teacher says, Come on, Pete, down that hall to a room with books on every wall. Where is Pete going? Now, moms, I hope you start talking with your kids about the school, especially those older ones, and what room might have lots and lots of books on the walls. Hmm... It's called the library. Pete has never been to the library before. Does Pete worry? Goodness, no. He finds his favorite book and sings his song. What do you think his favorite book is about? Look, looks like it's about Pete being a cowboy. 
I'm reading in my school shoes. I'm reading in my school shoes. I'm reading in my school shoes. That book's about a dinosaur and a cat, it looks like. I wonder what kind of story that would be. Hmm, check out Pete. He's ready to eat in a big, noisy room with tables and seats. Where is Pete? What do you think? Where do you eat in the school with lots of seats, a table? The lunchroom! We often call it a cafeteria. It's the same place, just different words. It can be loud and busy in the lunchroom. Does Pete worry? Goodness, no. He sits down with his friends and sings his song. I'm eating in my school shoes. I'm eating in my school shoes. I'm eating in my school shoes. Looks like Pete the cat is having goldfish and a fish sandwich. I hope your fish sandwiches don't look like that. Pete and his friends are playing outside on a green grassy field with swings and tall slides. Where is Pete? What does that look like? It's the playground! Kids are running in every direction. Does Pete worry? Goodness no! He slides and swings and sings his song. I'm playing in my school shoes. I'm playing in my school shoes. I'm playing in my school shoes. I hope you guys, when it gets safe, make sure your kids get a chance to go out to the playground at your school so they can see what it's like and what's there and that feels comfortable in the middle of the day. When school is done, Pete rides the bus home. Pete's mom asks him, what did you do at school today? I was rocking in my school shoes. I was rocking in my school shoes. I was rocking in my school shoes. And I will do it again tomorrow. Because it's all good. There's his classroom. The end. I wonder how many cats there are on the bus. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen cats on the bus. Do you see the one bird on the bus? He's actually on the bus. Do you see him on top? Right there. Yeah. The end. That is a fun story. We love our Pete the Cat books. So if you were going to be in school with me today, we would be painting a picture. And it could be whatever you want. Parents, I hope you're talking about school things with your kids, those of them that are going on to school. It's important for them. The more comfortable they are with everything, which is why we had them coming into school already, uh, the more confident they are going in, and um, they'll just be more ready to learn when they get there. So that's why we do some of those things. Okay, so after our circle time was our story time, then our mystery question time, right? And I already said we were going to paint, and it could have been a picture of whatever you wanted it to be. But we can't do that, can we? Because we're not together, and I don't have the paints I can give you. Um, so then comes snack time. Today we were going to have goldfish cracker, cr crackers, just like Pete had in the book. And um, what we were going to do is either count them. You can count them into the ice cube trays that I told you about. You know, when you put the number in the bottom up to ten, five for the smaller, younger ones. Um, or if you have paper plates, you can always write on them with a marker or a pen the numbers and have them, you know, put the paper plates out and they can count them out and do it that way too. So however you want to do that with whatever you're having, uh, it's always good practice to keep up these kinds of things, you know, counting and um, understanding the numbers and what has more and what has less and stuff like that, comparing those sets. That's always a good thing to be doing. So we are already getting to our, you know, graphics practice. So be sure you run and grab your something to write with. 
your marker, if that's what it is, or your crayon. And let me see, let me find, oh, maybe don't need to erase that. Um, something to write on. We started with mountains last time, and I want to try those again because mountains are pretty hard. And we're going to, I'm just, I'm really pushing you guys. I hope parents at home, you can work with them during the week on doing those shapes because I want to, I want to get done through this next part at least so that they're just even more and more prepared for school. So the mountains, we're pretending like we always talk about being on a picnic with this graphics practice, it seems like. So we're pretending we were on that picnic and we could see mountains off in the distance, remember? So what we did, parents, you're making sure they're holding their marker like this, remember? And your fingers, between the duck fingers, so like this, quack, quack, quack. And my two fingers out, quack, quack. We put the marker right in there. Okay, so we go up, down, up, down. Up, down, up, down. Up, down, up, down. Those older kids going into school, have them start at the top of their page on the left side because we're training their eyes, remember, to uh, practice like they're reading a book. So that's why we do it this way. They always go this way, from left to right, okay? When they get done with that line, they move down to the next thought, okay? So that's what we're doing. So get ready. You're doing up, down, up, down to the music. So when the music's playing, that is when you are drawing, writing. Okay. i got to get my thing back up again. So for the younger ones, Leilani, um, Aria, Olivia, uh, King and Jaden, if they're doing any of this writing kind of stuff, they're probably holding their marker, marker in their fist or whatever they're drawing with and just drawing like that. Just having them stop and start to the music is good. Uh, Aria, Olivia, the, Bria, the little older ones, they should be able to hold their marker correctly. Stop and start to music still, but maybe not doing these shapes, okay? The older ones should be able to try these shapes, okay? Okay, ready? We're doing mountains. Up, down, up, down. Stop. Stop. So up, down, up, down, making mountains. time on mountains. Did everyone freeze? Okay, good job. Oops. We're going to erase. Erase your mountains. Erase, erase, erase. Okay, next we're doing something harder, okay? We're gonna pretend we're at the picnic still. We're looking at the mountains one way, but if we look the other way, we see water. And when there's water, there are often waves, okay? So if you'll notice the shape, we've done something similar to this, but we haven't connected them. We've done bumps before, but we haven't connected them. This time, we're going to go like this. Bump, 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 okay? Making bumps, see that? And as much as they can do them kind of it, this way and not like to the side like this, we don't want that. They're doing them this with the lines coming down like that. That's the best. I know it's hard. These are hard, hard things. I know that some of you are going to be challenged by this. So keep working at it, especially you guys going into school next year. We're doing bump, 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 okay? Parents, you'll notice that this is like the letter M part of it, or letter N, H. A lot of letters have this kind of bump, bump thing, okay? So that's why we're practicing the shape. Okay, are you ready? And parents, if they're having trouble, put your hand over theirs and help them get started to get that, okay? 
and until they can kind of get that motion themselves. Don't do it for them because they won't ever learn and you're not going to be there in school helping them. But just help them, assist them. Or like we've done before, I've talked about, you know, just making dashed lines. And you can make them farther and farther apart as they get more competent. Just make dots, okay? You don't know if you can see that. Okay? Okay, are you guys ready? We're making waves. And you say bump, bump, bump. Except for you littler ones. be hearing bump, 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 bump. Okay, how's it going? Everyone should have stopped. Okay, we're stopped. Parents, check in a little bit. How are they doing? If they're just drawing and scribbling, that's um, because they're younger, that's fine too. Just make sure they're stopping and starting, okay? If they need some help with the bumps, that shape, go ahead and help them out a little bit. You know what, for you middle kids, like Bria, Enrique, Ritani, maybe just do one bump, okay? Let's try that for you guys. Those kids going into kindergarten, make sure you're doing the three bumps, okay? The other guys try one bump, okay? Okay, how did that one go? We have one more that's going to be challenging too. So stick with me, okay guys? We're going to erase. Erase, erase, erase. We have one more. And remember what I showed you earlier? This letter right here? This was we are going to sing. Starts with the letter S. That's the first letter in Samantha's name. We're going to practice making an S, but we're going to pretend like we're at this picnic and now we're looking down on the grass and there are snakes, okay? So that's what we're calling them. We're making snakes. Parents, it's really important that they start over here and curve around, okay? So what we want them to say is curve in, curve out. Curve in, curve out. Curve in, curve out. Curve in, curve out. This might be kind of hard for some of them, but make sure they're starting going over to the left. If there's a refrigerator or whatever's to your child's left, tell them to go, you know, the direction toward the refrigerator or whatever works in your house where you're sitting right now. So they go curve in, curve out, curve in, curve out. Got that this is going to be hard for some of them, okay? But we want to start practicing some of these shapes. So we're doing curve in, curve out, scaffold it, draw dotted lines if you need to. Or put your hand over there, there's to help them if they're having trouble with it. But let them try it first and see how they do. They might be able to do it just fine. Okay, ready? Stop. How's it going? Is that one going okay? Parents, make the dashed lines if you need to. Put your hand over theirs. If you're younger and just drawing, stopping and starting, then you're great. I picked a different song. Curve in, curve out. Curve in, curve out. Curve in, curve out. Stop. So Samantha, this is the first letter in your name. This is the letter S. 
I think who else has the letter S in their name? I'm going to look through you guys real quick. Not Dallary, not Jaden, not Malaya, not Aria, not Olivia, not Enrique, not Ratani. I can't believe no one else has an S. Not Raylene, not Iker, not Amaya, not Amina, not Emmanuel, not Leilani, not Abel. Yeah, no one else has an S in their name. But it's still an important letter. We use it a lot, okay? It's the first letter for school. So we're going to try this one more time, okay? Stay with it. Curve in, curve out. Okay, how was that? Did it go okay? I know that was a harder one for you guys, but you're getting ready for this. You're getting ready for school. You're practicing writing. You're going to be so ready when the time comes, and I'm so excited for all of you. Okay, I'm laying out these cards so I don't forget anyone's name for our Bye Bye song, because when I get going and if we're going fast, then I can kind of get lost between the different buildings and the different sites that I'm at, and I don't want to forget anyone's name. So, we've done a lot of stuff. Oh! You know what? I forgot about freeze dance. Look at that. We have some new ways to stop. Make sure you have a friend you can freeze with. Look at that. So this one, you're touching your fingertips. Arms are straight out, okay? Here's another one. This one, you're touching shoulders. You're putting your hand out and touching their shoulder. So you can look them in the eye and smile at them, okay? You got that? And remember, we had some other new ones. This one, you're touching fingertips with your arms straight out in front of you. So you're a little farther away, but you can still look at each other and smile. This one, your hands are up like that, kind of going up into a mountain or a triangle. And I think that, oh, I forgot about this one. We're linking elbows. So someone else's arm is going to be linked right here through your arm, okay? So linked like this, standing side by side. If you can't quite reach through the arm, just touch elbows. Because I know sometimes those little people like Olivia, Ari, you guys are so tiny, you can't get an arm in there, right? So just touch elbows, okay? Okay, are you ready? Let me find some new music. Let's see what we have here. Uh, hmm. It just switched out to something else that we don't want. And it keeps going back to that. Okay, here we go. Not sure what this one sounds like, but we'll try it, okay? Are you ready? Make sure you have a partner so you can freeze with them. Remember, we're dancing and moving. And then when the music stops, you stop like this, okay? Tips. Your arms should be out straight. Good job. Here's our next one. Did you freeze? Touching shoulders. Look that friend in the eye. Give him a smile.
again. Now you're touching your fingertips out in front of each other. You can still see each other's faces though, so still smile at them. should be up like that, touching fingertips, okay? Freeze. Either touch elbows or link them depending on how you can do that, okay? Whatever works best for you guys. Okay, we are done with our freeze dance. Let's see, we've done the name tags, kind of, we didn't really, but we did look at our names. Mystery rhyme, we did that. We had, what word did we have? Star, and we tried to decide if it was more like cat or car. Remember it, it was more like car, so star and car. We didn't do table time together. Circle time, we did our weather chart, we did our message of the day, which was, do you remember what it was? We are going to sing, and I hope you guys sang with me in the Pete the Cat song, okay? That's when I was hoping you'd sing with me. Well, that and the Bye Bye song, and the Welcome song, all those things I'd like if you sing with me. Okay, so we did that, we did our story time, we did not really do the quest, mystery question time, did we? Because can't really do that together very well today with what we had to go on. Snack. Gave you an idea on how to do some counting with your goldfish crackers. If that's what you have, whatever you have, you can do a piece of cereal, you can count whatever. It's okay, okay? But if you're grouping them, counting them, whatever you can do with that kind of stuff, it's great practice. And now we're getting to getting ready to say goodbye. So we're ready for a bye-bye song. I'm trying to decide if we should do it fast or slow. Maybe we'll just do it normal speed. I kind of mixed up your names around a little bit. So you're going to have to really listen carefully for your name. Okay? It's going to be hard. Are you ready? Bye-bye, <laughs> Valerie. Bye-bye, Jaden. Bye-bye, Malaya. Bye-bye, Aria. Bye-bye, Olivia. Bye-bye, Enrique. Bye-bye, Ratani. Bye-bye, Raylene. Bye-bye, Iker. Bye-bye, Amaya. Bye-bye, Anina. Bye-bye, Emmanuel. Bye-bye, Leilani. Bye-bye, Abel. Bye-bye, Samantha. Bye-bye, Bria. Bye-bye, King. See you next week. Now, I just sent out your last shipment of books. You're getting two books. You're getting Pete the Cat. Well, you already have it now. Pete the Cat, and then we have a School I Spy book. Uh, that we'll do. And so last next week is our last week. I'm so sad about that. Uh, those of you who have kids going to kindergarten, please make sure you're getting them signed up online. You will still need to go into school at some point in time with their birth certificate, immunization records, and proof of residency. You just need a letter or a bill that has your name with your address on it. Okay? Um, a bank statement will work as well. Um, if you need help with that, just let me know. You have my numbers. Uh, please text me some pictures and let me know how you're doing. Iker, I've not heard from your family at all, and I'm so worried about you. Everyone else I've heard from a little bit, so I'm so glad you're doing okay. I hope that continues. Um, stay safe, stay healthy, laugh a little together, and be well. I wish you well. Bye. Bye.